Welcome everyone to NBA action here on 2K Sports. Sunday in the NBA. It's the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Miami Heat. And now we send you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K crew. I'll see you at the half. What a setting, a nighttime view of vibrant Miami's downtown. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. With Steve Curry and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And it's time for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. First for the Spurs. Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And in the middle, out of Brazil, taken with the 28th pick back in 2008, the 6'11 pivot man, Tiago Splitter. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Duncan in at the four set. And for Miami, Chalmers and D. Wade are the guards. And playing at the five, the always versatile 6'11 star big man, able to score inside and out, Chris Bosh. And it's LeBron James, and it's Haslam in at the power forward position. And as you might expect for the team with the second best record in the West, the Spurs dominated the East last season, played each team twice for a total of 30 games, and went 25 and 5 in that stretch. And Clark, back to what you said about the Spurs and the East, it was far and away. The best record against the conference, Steve, for a team in the West. Yeah, the second best record. And it's off from three-point range. Now Chalmers. Wade drives in. Wade seems to be slowing down just a touch. And the, the, the difficulty as you get older, when you're not a great jump shooter, which Wade is not, is that the defenses will back off you. And that's the big challenge now for Dwayne Wade, adjusting to that newer style of defense that he's going to be looking at. Both free throws good from Wade. In the league last season to hit that mark. And Kevin, he led all shooting guards and player efficiency rating for the fifth consecutive season. Some might argue, but the numbers speak truth. He's the best shooting guard in the game. You know, the more you watch Kawhi Leonard play, the more you realize that he is the perfect fit for the Spurs. I mean, he just looks like a Spur, and he's only been in the league a couple of years. Plays great defense. Shoots from deep at a high rate and really knows, accepts, and embraces his role on the team. Leonard hits them both. And back to Kawhi Leonard. Coach Popovich sees him as their defensive stopper on the wing. But not just that. He thinks he's going to be a star in so many ways, Steve. Well, he could become the face of the franchise, Kevin, if you think about it. Once uh, Tim Duncan and Parker and Ginobili move on. But, but you know... Popovich, not one prone to hyperbole, but he absolutely loves this kid. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. Now let's find out what head coach Greg Popovich had to say to Doris Burke. Doris? We talked at the Air Force Academy before serving five years in the Air Force, and you know some of the leadership that he brings to his position was learned from his past experiences. You know, guys, that's what he does. He in the, probably in the history of sports, he's worth 10 times what he makes. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see what Miami does here the next couple of years uh, with their roster. James. And another basket for Miami. Doesn't go either for Green. That's not his shot there, guys. And uh, whether you play D on him or not, he's, he's usually going to miss that one. From deep LeBron. Gets it to go. LeBron's got seven points in the game. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Green kicks to Parker. Leonard on the way. The pass to Green. Five to shoot. The dish to Parker. And that one's good. Now, here's Diaz. He's covered by Bosch. Stolen by Bosch. In transition, here comes Miami. And LeBron throws it down. Reverse that one. Oh, now that was as hot as he's been this quarter. The game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. 
You know, every great player needs someone to push them to be better. LeBron said last year that you know, that's what Kevin Durant does with him. I think he works as hard as he does knowing that Durant is coming to try to take his spot as the best player in the league. Shot clock at three. Here's Parker. Hits the target from 18 feet. Parker's got six. The Heat leading by three. Chalmers dishes to LeBron. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. It's rebounded by Mills. And back to Coach Eric Spolster. As a guy who got his start as a video coordinator, picking the game apart, Steve, he's very comfortable with the new advanced stat move analytics in the NBA. Yeah, and I've had a chance to speak with him quite a bit. He says that the way they use advanced stats is just as a conversation piece in the coaching room. Uh, their, their analytics department will bring them various information, and it will force them to ask questions, which is very healthy uh, for a coaching staff to do. And here's Mills after the three-pointer from Cole. They set the pick. And Bellinelli kicks to Ginobili. He passes to Bellinelli. Shot clock at six. Back to Ginobili. It's stolen by Allen. Out in his own on the break. Here's Lewis. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. The rest of the game. The Heat leading by five. With the lead pass, and Allen slams it in. What a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the... Simple as what works, though, as evidenced by their back-to-back -back titles, guys. Well, Dora, sometimes it makes sense to keep it simple. Thanks. Well, what a series it was in the finals a year ago. Uh, such great basketball. Two teams that like to play up-tempo. And I'll, I'll tell you, the Spurs had Miami. They had the series in the bag. They were one play away from wrapping it up in Game 6. But the miracle comeback uh, from the Heat that led to the Game 7 victory and another title for the Miami Heat. Splitters got his second bucket of the game to go. And back to Popovich and the Spurs, he really makes a point of getting to know his players and have them get to know one another. That's right, Kevin. He, he likes to have his players have a sense of perspective about the world. He, he wants them to know that there are other things going on besides the NBA. In fact, back in 2012, he had the players watching the presidential debates together. You know, they've been so effective when they've been able to get the ball inside. Some real shortcomings from this defense. I mean, they've given up five straight looks in the paint. The Heat making a switch here. Bosch has checked in. That's good from Hazel. Well, Miami stormed through the regular season and were viewed as the clear-cut favorites to come out of the East, but it was not as easy as expected. After sweeping Milwaukee, the Bulls gave them a scare, then the Pacers really took them deep all the way to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. You see of the Spurs' success over the years. Spurs trail by seven. Green kicks to Bonner. Makes the lead pass. Here's Leonard. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Well, they really started to come on here in the second. Playing much better here, guys, and it looks like they're starting to make up some ground. We'll see if that can continue. Ten points have come in the paint. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. And Leonard gets it to go. A well, Heat leading by five. Now the feed to Chalmers. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And Chris Bosh with the slam. Well, now they're just going to town him. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little... Points in the game. He's making it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Leonard kicks to Diaw. Duncan right side. Spurs passing it around. Leonard the pass to Diaw. Shot clock at six. They get a hand on it. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. And that one's good. Parker. This is great. Three-pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Wade outside. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And so that brings the first half to a close.
heat out front up nine. Make sure you stay tuned for the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. Then we'll be back here right after that for the second half. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. Now here's Parker. Leonard on the wing. 18 feet out, and he nails the jumper. Leonard's got... While they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Well, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. A tremendous flow. Now here's Leonard. He's got 15. Ball's knocked loose. And stolen by LeBron. In transition, here comes... Oh! How about that basketball that. fan? Beautiful. Wow. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Mark? Yeah. Well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense. That's for sure. That is no good. The Heat leading by 13. Here's Chalmers. He's got 10. Bosch dishes to LeBron. Lock at six. Step back shot. That's good. LeBron's got 20 points. Parker's got 15 points. And he's made the most of his chances, hasn't he? He really needs to continue to work for those good looks. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And that's now 18 points for Dwayne Wade. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Leonard kicks to Duncan. Haslam's there. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Splitter. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. It's for Dwayne Wade. Well, Kevin, he's got such a great focus as a shooter. He's a very frustrating player to guard because unless you actually block his shot, you are not going to get in his head and affect him. And he also is incredibly adept at running the pick and roll. He almost always makes things happen when he instigates that play. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And I like the way he capped that drive off, guys, with the one-hand punch. And Chalmers kicks to Wade. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. It's been a rough shooting night for him, but uh, I don't mind that shot. He had a good look at it. It's astonishing to see a player, Clark, at his position who can get to the rim like that. Yeah, he goes very vertical on you, Kevin. <laughs> and once he's up there, you know he's going to throw it down hard. Green dishes to Mills. Here's Duncan. He trains the turnaround jump shot. Duncan's got 10 points in the game. That's the miss. Bosch has got seven rebounds in the game. Lewis kicks to Bosch. LeBron outside. From outside the arc, count that one. LeBron's got eight points in the quarter giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. The three for Mills, and that one's good. For three. Well, through three quarters of play, down. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Miami. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And they're getting the ball inside, which is what I like. High percentage shots down on the block and in the paint area. Miami leading by 19. Now LeBron. Back to Anderson. 16 feet away. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Well, if you're going to learn from someone, you might as well uh, take some lessons from Tim Duncan. That's what Tiago Splitter has done 
in San Antonio really kind of blowing up under the tutelage of one of the great players of all time. You know, the instant that steal was made, they were off and running the other way. Ball pressure, then a run out seed. That's perfection to me. Junkin with a screen for Parker. Green. Parker, 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 Parker. Back to Parker. Lays up the pick. Gives him the lead pass. Splitter, that's good. And Splitter taken 28th by the Spurs way back in 2007. The NBA the last three seasons, and he earned himself a nice payday with his new contract, too. Here's Parker after the made shot from Splitter. It's Parker with the drive. And here's Green outside. And yes, sir, that one drops. The thing you notice right off the bat from the statistics, just his three-point percentage. I mean, it's a terrific number, and it's a combination of things. Good shot selection, mechanics are solid, and his movement on the perimeter is outstanding. And another Spolstra addressed his team. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let-up out there. We'll see how well his point got across, guys. Wade, good. But Splitter's got 12 now in this quarter. What a quarter for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. Shots good by Bosch. Leonard with the steal. Duncan jumps up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And, and guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. <laughs> Wade for three, gets it to go. Wade's got six points in the quarter. Tell you what, when he gets it going, this is exactly what can happen. They may have to double team him. I see you. The 17 footer, and that one's good. Parker, whatever. Glitter's got 28 points for the game. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Time called here, this Miami defense. You, know, you, you think they're able to compensate for any lack of size inside by using those other things. Yeah, that's normally the case against, I would say, the vast majority of the league. He's not exactly striping them from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bagels in the second. They grab their own miss. Splitter misses. You know, his finishing ability leaves a lot to be desired, guys. He needs to take it to the basket stronger. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Spurs trail by 12. Green kicks to Leonard. Parker, defended by Chalmers. Parker's shot is off. The Heat shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. Parker with the steal. Wade against Green. Into Tim Duncan. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Parker outside. Gets the three to fall. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And that's an intentional foul. Six seconds left in the fourth. And so they foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Here's Green. Off the mark. And so it's Miami winning this one. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, LeBron James.